And in the meantime, Ukrainian officials are refuting the latest round of accusations against President Trump, saying the U.S. did not pressure to investigate Joe Biden's alleged corruption. Now, this is the Ukrainian bombshell is threatening to derail Biden's presidential campaign when America's Christian Rose looks into the matter. Joe's got a lot of problems. Joe's got enough problems without that. But what he said was a terrible thing. President Trump is facing a new round of accusations of seeking so-called dirt on his political opponents from a foreign power. This time, mainstream media, Democrat officials and some Republicans are expressing concern over reports that claim the president was asking President of Ukraine Vladimir Zelensky to investigate Biden's alleged corruption in the country. The controversy comes after three years of the Russian witch hunt, which largely turned out to be a hoax. It's just another uh, political hack job. That's all it is. The new attack on the president started after his phone call with Zelensky last week. President Trump stressed Sunday Biden himself admitted to using his political influence as vice president to blackmail Ukraine's previous administration to stop an investigation into his son Hunter and his business in Ukraine. I said, you're not getting the billion. I'm going to be leaving here. And I think it was, what, six hours? I looked, I said, I'm leaving in six hours. If the prosecutor's not fired, you're not getting the money. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> got fired. President Trump says Biden's remarks were irresponsible, albeit he has no intention to hold the former vice president accountable. And they removed the prosecutor supposedly in one hour, and the prosecutor was prosecuting the company of the son and the son. And you talk about... Uh, Something that shouldn't have been said. He just shouldn't have said that. Meanwhile, Ukrainian officials have refuted the allegations President Trump could be asking to reopen the case into Biden. Ukrainian Foreign Minister Vadim Pristaiko said Sunday his country's law enforcement may share some information on their anti-corruption probes with the U.S. But President Trump didn't ask for that during the phone call. <laughs> American investigators have every right to request and obtain this information in the United States. And if someone believes that our president is being put under pressure, they have to prove it. I know what the conversation was about, and I think there was no pressure. But congressional Democrats appear to be planning to include these allegations into their impeachment case, while also fueling anti-Ukrainian sentiments in the media. Which, after years and years of targeting the Russians, may come to an unlikely benefit to strained Russian-Ukrainian relations. I think things are being implied that just don't exist. Christian Rose, One American News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.